All right, uh, so we've done our set reference, and now all that you need to do when you've added in everything and connected up to what you're testing is press the auto test button. It takes somewhere around six, eight seconds to test all 12 fibers, uh, loss, length, and polarity, and then gives you a test result. So now I've performed a test. I can see that it passed, that I haven't saved it. I can see that my limit was link validation. I can see that polarity was set to A, and because A is green, it means that that was the polarity detected. The length passed, it was 13 feet, very short run here. And the margin, because I had such a long uh, margin, um, a long length set for the pass-fail analysis. I can see my two wavelengths, I can see the loss, and I can see the margin. And then I can choose to go into a detailed view. And when I go into a detailed view, I can choose to look at different elements. So if I start at the top, I see polarity, and I see that it's polarity A, it was expected A, the length and the length limit. I can look at my two different wavelengths. I'll look at 850 here. I see each individual fiber, what its loss was and what its margin was. And in the top right, I've got what the max loss is. So now I press the save button and I'm gonna be saving this to fiber ID number three and I press save again. And then it tells me saved fiber ID three successfully and it returns me back to the screen that I was at. I could choose to save directly from my uh, summary screen and not bother looking at the details. If everything passes, I may not want to do that. Find out more at Viacom's website.